Good morning. I'm just going to read the read the title and the blurb, and and then I'll start. <laughs> Key to manifesting: What is your state of being? I'm amazed, first off, at how reliable my internal wake-up mechanism is since I only had two hours from the time I went to bed before I needed to get up for my meditation. And I made a mistake at how my, not by. <laughs> um, during meditation, what came to me was something my friend Steve had sent to me recently, though I cannot find it now. What I recall is this. What we manifest in our lives has more to do with our overall state of being than with our current positive affirmations or our negative thoughts that seem beyond our control. For me, however, for me, however it was said and whoever uh, it was who said it, it was a relief. You see, oftentimes I have had the thought when my thoughts and feelings were not ideal that, oh my, now I am creating what I don't want. <laughs> it's as if that little demon in me was saying, see, you blew it again. That's not very comforting. That's not a very comforting thought for those like me who emphasize being authentic. What is comforting is knowing that my higher self looks at my overall state of being not my state of emotion at any given time to determine what manifests in my life. That is grace, and I didn't read that exactly right, and I apologize for that. But, of course, the blurb is always printed, uh, both on Facebook and YouTube, so you can read it for yourself, even though I misread it. I'm very tired. Uh, I went to hear uh, the Brevard Busking Coalition play again last night, and I didn't get home till after one o'clock. I didn't get to bed till nearly uh, 1.30 and it took me a while actually to fall to wind down and fall asleep. So I probably had an hour and a half sleep top since I woke up at 23 minutes after three. <laughs> um, and uh, got out of bed after that to go to meditate. I meditated in bed and got out of that uh, to meditate more later. And then when I came to the computer as I said in the blurb, I, I, what came to me in the meditation was something that actually came to me as I was driving last night, and I was still focused on that uh, in meditation today. And that is, and it might not have even been Steve that sent it. Maybe that's why I can't find it. I'm looking for something from him, and maybe it came from somebody else. But it was a saying by somebody that's famous. I don't, I don't know if it's I don't know. I don't remember who it was that said it, but it it came back since it since it was received. It's that that thought has come back to me because I don't know about you, but I want to manifest things that I want in my life, not things that I don't want in my life. And it's almost like a mind game <laughs> that is played that I've done this to myself and, and I, I'm sure most people that are on the spiritual path have done it to our, to, to ourselves too. I think it's, I think it's probably quite common that we fight with controlling our thoughts and our feelings. We want to feel only the good feelings. We want to have only the positive thoughts, the thoughts of what we want, not the thoughts of what we don't want. And I, and I, since I got that saying, and I don't even know if it was, a couple of days, it might have even been a couple of days ago that I got it, but it's been playing here and there in my thoughts. And that was the predominant thought before I came to the computer today. And then I came to the computer and I probably spent a good 10 minutes or more searching, trying to find the saying unsuccessfully. And then after I wrote the blurb, I tried again to find it. But I, I battle because Oftentimes, the thoughts that I'm thinking are, are, are thoughts of what I don't want, not thoughts of what I do want. 
and then I and then I wrestle with myself. Man, that's not what I want to happen. I want the I want good to happen. I don't want I don't I've played enough in that other stuff and that mess. I don't want to go back there. I don't want that's not what I want to experience. So whoever said that saying, and I wish I could find it, it's that God pays attention, or our higher self pays attention to our overall state of being. What does that mean? What does that mean, Ron? Well, what it, what it means for me is that my overall state of being is love. I truly, truly want the highest and best for everybody, not just for me, but for everybody, even, even the people that seem to be hurting me or threatening me or uh, doing negative things, I even want the best for them. That's my overall state of being. It's not one of vengeance. It's not one of trying to get even. It's just trying to get beyond the whole this whole game that we play where people hurt one another. I, I, I want that to be finished. And yet the thoughts of being hurt whether in uh, in the past or projected into the future, those thoughts plague my mind from time to time. I can't help it. I can't help it. But that's not my state of being. My state of being is not, man, I've got to get even. Then that's a state of being. I, I want to get even. My, my, state, my state of being is I want to punish somebody. For me, for a long time now, it's not been about punishment. It really hasn't. And and this is what was being driven home by spirit to me this morning. Ron, you don't want ill for anybody. Not the, uh, not the Illuminati, not, uh, not the people that have, that have hurt you. You don't want, you don't want to, you, I don't have vengeance. And that was what was being pointed out to me. That I really do, truly, my state of being is for good. And and the message Spirit was giving me is, Ron, that's you're creating good because that's your state of being. That's your state of consciousness. It's not about what positive affirmations you use to try to convince yourself of something that you don't really believe in. That's not it at all. Your state of being is that you want good. For everyone, you're not discriminating. You're recognizing that you are part of the whole, and that if you want good for yourself, you need to want it for others. And I do. And so that's the state of being that produces the the manifestation of what we want, rather than the manifestation of more of what we don't want. And that was comforting to me, even though I was frustrated not being able to find the exact quote. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember who who it was that might have said it. <laughs> and again, I'm not even positive 100% that it was Steve who sent it, since I can't can't find it even searching for his name. Now, part of the problem is, of course, I have so many inboxes, and I don't know what form it was sent to me in. <laughs> so it could be in an inbox that I didn't even get to check, because I have nine inboxes. And, oh, I didn't even check two of them. But anyway... Uh, actually, three of them probably. I didn't check at all. But in any case, this was a relief for me to just know, just to know that that God really does have wisdom. Because sometimes in some of the belief systems that float around, God doesn't recognize the negative. God is stupid. If you If you say what you don't, if you say what you want, then you get more want. If you, uh, if you set, frame things in a negative way, like I don't want any more of this, God only hears what the does takes the knot out, and what you get is again what you don't want because the don't isn't heard, and that has frustrated me over and over again. But this idea of the overall state of being that that resonates with me. That, as I said in the blurb, is grace. God looks at the heart and knows where you're coming from. And if you're coming from a, a pure place, if you're coming from a good place overall, 
don't sweat the little things. You're going, you're going to have thoughts and feelings that are positive and thoughts and feelings that are negative. That's the human experience. That's what we all have. And we can't stop the negative feelings. We, but we do. We try to sugarcoat them oftentimes. We try to turn them off. But if our attitude is right, that's the most important thing. And if, if there's anything I can give you or leave you this morning, it's that thought. Because that really, really resonates with me. And, and I hope whoever I hope whoever sent me whatever it is that I'm trying to remember remembers what it was and sends it to me again so I can look at it. I mean, I get lots of emails and I haven't caught up on my email. I mean, I left here yesterday to go visit a friend before I went to, the, to hear the buskers play. So I was actually gone. Uh, from the middle of the afternoon yesterday for about three o'clock until after one o'clock last night and I have yet to catch up any of the emails that came during that whole time which is a lot of emails so I haven't I haven't even begun to uh, to open all the emails that came in during that time in any case I hope that that what I've shared here this morning means something to you because it, it really it really is a relief to me to consider the fact that God looks not just at any given moment, but at the whole picture. And that God isn't stupid. He knows what, what we really want and he knows what our higher self wants for us. And, and I really believe that that is good for all of the human race, that we're moving into that energy and God sees the heart. God looks at us and says, okay, that's what we're going to manifest. We've manifested all the negative stuff. Now we're going to manifest the, the, according to the state of consciousness of humanity, which I believe is being uplifted and raised up more and more and more and more. And we're coming into the heart space and to love. And this is what we were here to learn, to return to love. So... I guess that's all I'm going to do. It's only 12 minutes and something, but I don't feel I have any more to say, and I do want to go back to bed and get some sleep even before I check all the emails. I'll be checking some of the emails, of course, while the video is processing, but uh, as soon as it gets done processing and I get to share it up on Facebook, I'm back to bed, hopefully for at least two or three more hours of sleep. You have a beautiful day. I love you, and thank you for listening even to this rambling that I've had this morning, which may not be as coherent as I would like, but it is what it is. Namaste. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs>